Hey guys, it's Wayne. Welcome to my new tutorial series, Yo-Yo Tutorials from a Different Perspective. And today we are going to talk about how to learn any tricks you want, or how to learn any tricks from any players you like. It's actually a request from Brandon Vu. Yep, that Brandon. You probably know him from making some of the really good Yo-Yo related videos. So one day we were talking about the new tutorial series I'm going to make and he asked me Hey Wayne, can you make a tutorial about how you break down other people's tricks? This video is part of my plan but since he requested it, so I decided to put this video on first So let's get started! Learning tricks can be really easy in some situations If you are learning a really really common combo, say for example Mickey Speed Combo you can just search on YouTube, type on Mickey Speed Combo Tutorial then there will be lots of videos showing up and to teach you how to learn them from lots of different angles it is made much easier to learn from tutorials because people have already break everything down for you but what happens a lot more often is when you see a video on YouTube you thought wow this trick is so good I want to learn it but it's either because the structure is too difficult or because the player plays it too fast you just can't see it clearly which brings us to the next topic how to break down the tricks it is a three step process step one get the video to your computer first if you are watching the video from YouTube some videos can let you play in slow motion but not all of the video can do that so we need to get it down to our computer first there are many methods that you can use to download videos to your computer for example if you want to download the YouTube video you can use Chris PC YouTube downloader you can use clip converter.cc and you can use any Firefox plugins you like and also if you want to download video from Facebook Vimeo or any other online platforms you can simply search on Google online Facebook video download and then you can get a website to capture the video for you step 2 get a video player that plays in slow motion if you already have a good video player it's fine but if you don't say if you only have Windows Media Player that can only does the basic job you probably want a better software so what I suggest is one of the two softwares KM Player or Pod Player of course there are like lots of players online that can also play in slow motion but these two are the ones that I use say for example pod player you can just download it on the internet just search it on google pod player download and then you'll get it it's a freeware so download it all you like and then install it onto your computer then you're ready for step 3 and now the last step is actually learning from the video you just downloaded open it up with the media player you have and play in slow motion or even frame by frame now you can see the trick as clear as you can from the video for example if you are using pod player you can press X to play in slow motion and press it again if you even want it slower and then you press Z to come back to normal speed or you press C for faster playing and in some of the media players you press Ctrl plus plus and or Ctrl plus minus to play faster play slower it's different from each media player you can always check it out and if you want to play it frame by frame you can press F what you will see is the video just paused and then when you press F again it jumps to the next frame and then you press F it jumps to the next frame and when you want it to resume playing you can just press the spacebar there are also a few points to be mentioned first learn the basics I don't mean any basic tricks but if you want to learn circular Eli hop, you should be able to do Eli hops consistently first. If you want to learn repeat basting, you need to master basting. Or if you want to do this, you will need to be able to do a backflip. Pick up the elements in the tricks or combos first if you can spot it. Also, watch the video thoroughly. Pay attention to details, not just their yo-yo movements, but the proportion of strings their finger movements or even their body movements if possible or if you find it useful for example in this Takeshi Matsura chopsticks combo it looks like he did two rejections of suicide catches but he didn't it's still a difficult trick but by figuring out what's happening you will make it much easier by the way if you actually can meet the player in real life say in a contest do it you can learn from them by asking them nicely in the right time so don't ask them if they are hopping on stage really soon 
when they show you the trick, you probably want to look at the trick from different angles. Say, for example, from the same side as them, because that's what you normally won't see in videos. If they are nice enough, they may even explain it to you and tell you what you did wrong. Also, if you have their permission, recording in a different angle will also help for learning the trick later. So, this is my first vlog on the new YoYo tutorial series. If you have any questions, comments, recommendations, feel free to comment below. Thanks for watching. Please like and share if you find it useful and also subscribe to get notified when the next tutorial is up. And I'll see you soon.